Hi, my name is Emily. I'm with Employee Health and Infection Control here at ANTHC. I'm here today to explain how to use the Flex Air Powered Air Purifying Respirator, also known as the PAPR. When required to wear your PAPR or a fitted mask, please always make sure that you're properly trained and fitted for that PAPR or mask. Never use a PAPR or a fitted mask that you've not been fitted for or trained. When entering a room that has the airborne isolation sign posted on the doorway, please make sure that you have your mask and your PAPR on before entering. You may be instructed by infection control or your supervisor to use the PAPR in another situation. Your PAPR system has four main parts. The blower, the hose, the hood, and then the airflow indicator. Before using your PAPR each time, you should always check to make sure that it's giving you the proper amount of airflow. To test that, you're gonna untwist the hose, With your PAPR's blower, you want to make sure that it has a canister on each side, the canisters are not expired, and that it has been cleaned by Central Supply. Take your airflow indicator, set it on top where the hose was connected, and turn the machine on. The airflow indicator's bobber will float to the top, you want to make sure that the bobber is floating above the 6 CFM line. If it's not, your machine may not be properly working and it needs to be replaced. Please call Central Supply to have that machine replaced for you. Turn your machine off by pushing the button down and disconnect the airflow indicator. After checking your airflow, you can put your machine together. First, attach your hose by twisting it back on. Next, you'll take your hood and attach it with a click. When putting your PAPR on, first, you'll take your hose and put it over your shoulder. This way, your hood never touches the ground. Next, take your PAPR and place the belt around your waist, snap it shut, and tuck the straps in so that they sit close to your body. Next, you'll turn the machine on. Once the machine's on, always make sure that your hood is not twisted and you're getting the full adequate airflow. You will feel the airflow coming from the inside of the machine. Next, you want to adjust the Velcro strap. The hard Velcro strap will go across the top of your head. The soft Velcro strap will go across your forehead. Next, peel off the blue protective film checking the face shield and hood for any cracks or damage. When putting on the hood, you'll start from behind your head and bring it forward, making sure to tuck it underneath of your chin and in front of your ears. Next, you wanna tighten the bungee so that it fits tightly against your face, however, not uncomfortable. When doffing your PAPR machine, remove yourself completely from the room and shut the door. Perform hand hygiene. Place a clean pair of gloves on and remove the hood by loosening the bungee and pull it off from under your chin and towards the back of your head. And then you may turn your machine off. After doffing your PAPR hood and turning the machine off, you then want to clean it. First, you're either going to use your non-bleach or bleach wipes as appropriate for that patient. Clean the outside of the hood. And disconnect. You'll store your hood in a plastic bag hanging outside the patient's room for later use. Next, you'll clean your hose and machine. making sure to hit the contact time for the wipes that you're using. Allow to completely dry for the next healthcare worker to use. 
remove your gloves, and perform hand hygiene. Please refer to the ANMC guidelines on terminally cleaning and replacing the filters on your PAPR system. Thank you for watching this video on the FlexAir Powered Air Purifying Respirator. Remember to always use the respirator that you've been trained and fitted for. If you have any questions, please call us at Employee Health at extension 2900. Thank you again for watching.